In this video, I want to go over the highest and lowest problem on Code Wars. And what it states is, in this little assignment, you're given a string of space-separated numbers and have to return the highest and lowest number. So if we look at some of the examples, they'll pass us a string such as this that contains numbers, and they want us to return the highest and lowest in this fashion. So the highest will be 5, space, the lowest will be 1. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to first create two variables, one being max, the other being min. What these variables are going to do is they're going to keep track of the maximum and the minimum values in our numbers string respectively. So max is equal to float uh, negative infinity and min is equal to float positive infinity. And the reason we're doing this is because any number that exists is greater than negative infinity and any number that exists is less than positive infinity and basically what we're going to be doing is for the very first iteration assuming that the first element or the first character in our string is the max and the min so what we will need to do now is we're going to be iterating throughout a string and Strings, you can't perform comparison checks on them. You can't add them or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this string of uh, string of numbers into a list of integers. So we're just going to say numbers is equal to, and we're going to use list comprehension. We're just going to say int i for i in numbers dot split. So for i in numbers dot split. Now what this is doing, this split function takes the list and whatever you specify in here will be the delimiter that separates each element. By default it's white space, so between every white space will be the separator between each element. So one will be an element, white space, which means the next element we're going to go on to. Two will be an element, three will be an element, four will be an element, five will be an element, and so on and so forth because the delimiter is white space. So for every i and our numbers list now, it is now a list, we're going to append to this new numbers list i, but we're going, to concat or we're going to typecast it into an integer. So what this is going to look like is going to be a list of integers, and for this example, it'll be a list of 1 as an element, 2 as an element, 3 as an element, and so on and so forth. So from here, it's quite easy. We're just going to iterate throughout our numbers list. So for i in numbers, we're just going to check if i is greater than the max, what we're going to do is we're going to set max equal to i. Because if any time i is greater than our max variable, which our max variable keeps track of the max number, that means that max is no longer the max variable i is. So what we're going to do is we're going to set uh, max equal to i. On the other hand, we're going to do the same thing for the min variable. We're just going to say if i is less than the min, we're just going to say min is equal to i. After iterating throughout this entire for loop, what we're going to have is we're going to have two variables, max and min, each one with max having the highest value and min having the lowest value. What we need to do now is we need to return these max and min variables in this format right here. And the way we can do this is with a format method. So we're just going to say return uh, a string curly brackets, curly brackets, and I'll explain what these do in a second, but dot format um, max comma min. Now what these curly brackets do are these are basically placeholders. For every curly bracket that you have in your string, you need the, the equivalent amount of arguments passed here. So if there was three, uh, three curly brackets, we would need yet another uh, parameter or an argument. But since we only need max min, we only need two. So what this does is this will take this max variable and replace it in this string where this curly bracket is. This will take this min value and replace it right here. So at the end of this, this should all work. If we attempt it. So yeah, all 19 test cases passed. So that is the highest and lowest problem on Code Wars. It is a 7KYU problem, so it's more beginner friendly. If you found this video valuable though, and you learned something, I'd appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed, and I will see you guys in future tutorials.